Hello there. Today I got one uh, numerical from the third equation of class 10. And the problem is this. Uh, we have to find the value of x in term of p. So here you can see three root under uh, in the different three terms. So it is uh, difficult if we use the, um, if we square on both sides, it will be more complex. So we c it should have to be uh, tricky uh, to solve this question. You can observe here from this term, we can, uh, this term we can uh, take a common x here. And from this term we take a common, also common x here. And this uh, term, this term, in this term, uh, we can factorize it by first into last method. First into last method. Uh, so I broke, um, broke this minus 2 p, uh, px into minus 2 px plus p, uh, px. So that I could take common from these two terms. And now in next term, um, steps, we can you can see here this root x, this x is separated from this so that it would be easier for us to take common. Here is root x and here is 2px, uh, 2p plus x root under and it, uh, same in this term also. This uh, x is separated here uh, with root, root, root x uh, into root px, um, p minus x and in this term you can just simply take the common 2p and x and in next term you can observe here we have already given their p minus x but it is um, you have to uh, make this term similar to any of these three terms so that we could take common so um, i put here root under and square so that this is root and square root and these two square square and square root get cancelled and uh, it would become p minus x just i add here root and square in these uh, these two terms so that um, i could get here and um, uh, uh, to take the common uh, uh, transpose this term to this side so that if we transpose this term to this side then it would become root x into uh, root under p minus x and this term is written here and this term is transposed to this side and here is equals to zero now it is clear that you can take common root under p minus x from here so i took here common root under p minus x and the remaining will be root under px minus root x in the similar way in these two terms we can take common root under 2px plus x root under 2px plus x then minus root under 2p, uh, 2p plus x because uh, here is uh, plus in front of the root x but here is minus in front of the root x so that to make this root x minus we took common minus root under 2p plus x so uh, this uh, root under x would become minus root uh, root under two square root x plus and this is and this minus would become here plus and uh, if we take 2p plus x common then here will be remaining p minus root p minus x and in next term you can clearly see root under p minus x minus root x is common in these two terms so you can take common here root under p minus cx then the remaining term will be root under p minus cx minus root under p to uh, p plus cx now it is it seems easier for us now you can simply either are here either this term equals to zero or this term equals to zero to find the value of x in term of p either if if this term equals to zero then if we transpose this uh, this this term to this side and square on both side then you get the value of x is p by 2 and if you if this term equals to 0 then if you transpose this uh, term to this side then squaring on both side you get here um, x equals to minus p upon 2 so that the uh, in collectively we can say that the value of the p x is in term of p is plus minus p by 2 that's all about this problem thank you